Chris Jericho has more balls than the guy that held the Got Juice sign. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Talk Malcolm Talk. So today, you guys read the title already? You kind of already know what it is. Chris Jericho, Brock Lesnar. Now the news broke yesterday they got in an altercation after SummerSlam 2016 this past Sunday. So after the Brock Lesnar Randy Orton match, what y'all saw, and it was quite just disturbing to honestly watch. Chris Jericho thought that Lesnar opening up Orton's head and letting a bunch of blood just flow out, which how was that entertaining? He thought that was all shoot, much like Everyone else. Lesnar told him to mind his own business. Jericho told him to shut up. It's not reported yet if he called him a stupid idiot after, but let's say he did. They get in each other's face. Lesnar pushes Jericho. Jericho pushes Lesnar. Jericho gets him pinned up against the wall, and Brock Lesnar kisses Chris Jericho on the forehead. Brock Lesnar kissed another man. Are you actually surprised? And Brock Lesnar followed that up by saying, kiss me back. Is that like a dare? Like, do you want me to? Is that, are, aren't you married? Chris Jericho probably took a little bit of offense to that, considering that Lesnar just told him to kiss him back. When they got into altercation where Vince McMahon and Triple H both had to pry them apart, I respect Jericho 100% more for the fact that he stood up to the beast. Something that no one else in their right mind would ever do. Triple H was reportedly on his side, defending Chris Jericho thinking that it actually was a shoot because, well, it, that's what it looked like. Randy Orton and Vince McMahon both told Jericho that it wasn't, and it was all a work. Don't you think Randy would have been a little, like, a little dazed at that time? Because he kind of had a bunch of blood just pour out his skull. Something about Jericho in that WrestleMania 20 man event. So cool. Better watch out before you get it. Let's talk about the Dudley Boys again. So the Dudley Boys, who was rumored to retire, did actually retire on Monday Night Raw. Why did they lose all those matches just to retire? How come there's no heel turn? What? It'd be expected. Or like, they didn't get this last hoorah. They lost like six times. And one would be on the SummerSlam kickoff in Brooklyn. The reason to that is that the Dudley Boys were debating with WWE about the new contract and they decided just weren't gonna sign and that they leave the WWE. They've accomplished everything they need to accomplish as a tag team. ECW, WCW, TNA, WWE. No doubt in my mind, 2017, they're probably gonna get inducted to the Hall of Fame. And you can't be mad about that because, well, they put in a lot of work. I didn't do Raw or SmackDown live reviews simply because I just need a break from wrestling. Like, I watched a lot of wrestling this week. Think about that, guys. Like, how much wrestling are we watching this week? NXT TakeOver, SummerSlam, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, Cruiserweight Classic, TNA, if you choose to watch that. So I watched Raw, I watched SmackDown, I liked them both. I thought they both did really good, especially what they did with the Universal title, because Finn, seriously, Get well soon. But the whole Fatal 4 they have going on. You have, you have Big Cass, that's, I didn't expect that. They're slowly foreshadowing how they're gonna put Big Cass in the main event. I like that. Roman Reigns, they need another baby face. He's not gonna win. Kevin Owens, I want him to win. And Seth Rollins, who's gonna win. Then on SmackDown, we saw the new tag team and women's titles. Now, I, I was just expecting it, honestly. That's literally what I expected. If you watch my SummerSlam reactions, I said this. Get magic tag belts that are blue. And that's exactly what we got. Now, I was on FaceTime with my friend. I was like, oh, they're probably gonna put like a silver plate on the tag team titles. That's exactly what we got. And the women's title, everything else has a big W on it, so it was just kind of expected. I think all the hate for Universal title is already there. So now we introduce these new titles that, again, kind of look like something on Creator Wrestler. It's just like, I expected it. So, okay, why not? The New Day is bringing out candy bars. Just when you thought they ran out of stuff to sell. They're not breaking up anytime soon. It was released on Biggie's Twitter, where it shows a picture of the candy bar. They're called New Day Rocks. But basically, it's just a chocolate bar with some pop rocks in it. It's gonna be sold at FYE in October. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, share, and always subscribe. We outie.